Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the Second Hand Club. Today, we're diving into the hidden history of Rolex. We all know Rolex as the ultimate luxury watchmaker, but there is so much more beneath the surface. Let's explore some of the untold stories and fascinating facts about this iconic brand. Let's dive right in. First off, did you know that Rolex wasn't always called Rolex? Back in 1905, Hans Wilsdorf and Alfred Davis founded the company initially named Wilsdorf and Davis. It wasn't until 1908 that they registered the name Rolex. Why Rolex? Wilsdorf wanted a name that was easy to pronounce in any language and looked elegant on a watch dial. Quite the strategic move, don't you think? Let's break this down a bit more. At the time, most watches were still pocket watches, but Wilsdorf envisioned a future where wristwatches would be the norm. To make this vision a reality, he needed a name that would stick globally. Imagine trying to build a brand in multiple languages. It had to be short, catchy, and easy to pronounce. Rolex was the perfect fit. It's fascinating how branding strategies we use today were already in plan over a century ago. In 1926, Rolex revolutionized the watch industry with the introduction of the Oyster, the world's first waterproof wristwatch. And here's where it gets interesting. To prove its durability, Hans Wilsdorf arranged for a swimmer named Mercedes Gleitze to swim across the English Channel wearing the Oyster. The watch came out intact. This wasn't just a marketing stunt, it was a powerful demonstration of innovation and reliability. But the innovation didn't stop there. Let's dive deeper into the technical aspects. The Oyster case was hermetically uh, sealed, ensuring water resistance. This was a groundbreaking achievement at the time when watches were susceptible to dust and moisture. The success of the Oyster uh, set a new standard in the watch industry, and it laid the foundation for many future innovations. In 1931, Rolex introduced the Perpetual Rotor, the world's first self-winding mechanism. This was a game changer, uh, making watches more convenient by eliminating the need to wind them manually. The Perpetual Rotor laid the foundation for the modern uh, automatic watch, a true testament to Rolex ingenuity. Let's talk about why this was revolutionary. Before uh, the Perpetual Rotor, uh, automatic watches existed but were inefficient and bulky. Rolex innovation uh, made the self-winding uh, watches practical for everyday use. The rotor's bidirectional uh, movement harnessed uh, the wearer's motion to keep the watch one a marvel of microengineering that continues to influence watchmaking today. Fast forward to 1953, Sir Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay made history by summiting Mount Everest, both equipped with Rolex watches. These timepieces withstood the harsh conditions proving their robustness and reliability. Rolex's association with exploration and adventure has since become a cornerstone of its identity. But there is more to the story. These weren't just any Rolex watches. They were Rolex Oyster Perpetuals, designed to handle extreme conditions. The success of this expedition cemented Rolex's reputation uh, in making watches that could endure the most challenging environments. This is why, even today, Rolex is synonymous with adventure and exploration. One of the most fascinating stories involves the Rolex Deep Sea Special. In 1960, Rolex attached this experimental watch to the outside of the Batiscaps uh, Trieste, which descended in the Mariana Trench over 35,000 uh, feet deep. The watch survived this extreme pressure and came back in perfect condition, showcasing Rolex's extraordinary engineering capabilities. Let's uh, try to uh, break down the technology behind this feat. The Deep Sea Special was designed with an extra thick uh, crystal and a reinforced uh, case to withstand the crushing pressures of the deep ocean. This experiment wasn't just about setting records, it was a testament to Rolex's commitment to pushing the boundaries of watchmaking. And let's not forget Rolex's significant influence in the world of motorsports. The Daytona International Speedway inspired the Rolex Daytona introduced in 1963 and designed for professional racing drivers. This model, with its high-performance uh, chronograph and a tachymetric uh, scale, became an icon in the racing world. The Daytona wasn't just about looks, it was built for precision. The tachymetric scale allowed drivers to measure the average speed over a given distance, a crucial tool for racing. The robust uh, design ensured that it could withstand the rigors of high-speed motorsports. Over the years, the Daytona has become one of the most thought-after watches, both for its functionality and its iconic status. 
Rolex is about more than just luxury. It's about innovation, adventure, and precision. Hans Wilsdorf's vision created a brand that is not only a status symbol, but also a piece of history. Each Rolex carries a legacy of groundbreaking achievements and remarkable stories. So next time you look at a Rolex, remember, it's not just a watch, it's a testament to over a century of innovation and history. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. It really helps the channel to grow. It's free and it means a lot uh, to me. It also makes sure to visit our website for some great watches, thesecondhandclub.com, uh, if you want to find the best watches at the best guaranteed price in the current market. Have a great day and see you in the next episode.